today on City Line. It's all about celebrating your accomplishments, big or small. You know, I got out of bed and didn't hit snooze on my <laughs> alarm this morning. How to make memorable milestones all year round. Sometimes we just need a memory of the things that we have accomplished. Then a tasty soup that checks all the boxes. Easy, affordable, rich, Absolutely. simple. Absolutely. Kids the can help you. Best. And later, bite-sized boosts to fuel your winter activities. I want to show you snacks that you can pack on your own, so you can create your own little snack act. The snack hacks you're going to love. That's I me. want you to be my mom. <laughs> it's City Line with Tracy Moore. everyone. We are kicking off this week with a packed show to get you motivated and embrace all the cozy this season. But you know what? We also want you to celebrate yourself. We're going to celebrate every chance we get. This is my philosophy always in life. So we've got fun and easy ways to honor every milestone with Shona Jensen. Get on in here. Happy Monday. <laughs> you know, I like that we are approaching things this way. We're not being all punitive. We yep. are going to be celebratory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to try and change our whole life. Yeah. But we're going to pat ourselves on the back when we get something done. We absolutely are. I also want to pat this outfit you on like the back. <laughs> Which you, I know. <laughs> It's just, you know what? It's one of those things where you wake up in the morning and you're like, I gotta get going. It's Monday. Yeah. I need some fuel. And so it's like a hot pink suit will do it every time. It's yeah, yeah. Fuel, I love baby. it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Is there something on your list this year that you're thinking to yourself, I really like, I wanna accomplish this right now? Okay, so, well, yes and no. And yeah. because, yes, I always have things I wanna accomplish. That's who I am, a busy brained person. Yes. I'm always thinking about what's next. But I'm not like a hard and fast January goal setter. Yes, I, I'm like you. I don't like the pressure of that. I don't like because I don't like being told what to do ever. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what to do, January. Yeah, yeah, so I'm a little rebel. <laughs> That's my version of rebelling. Yeah. Um, but also, I need to be inspired. So like, yes. if in all of a sudden, you know, a month from now or not until June, I'm like got a fire in my belly and I'm like, woo! I'm going to get all this done. Then that's when I set my goals and my risks. I just wait yeah. till I'm ready for it. I'm I don't with need you. to push. Rolling list of goals throughout the year. Yeah. January doesn't have to be the time where we change everything. Like yeah. it can happen at any time. Yeah. So yeah. let's start getting ourselves motivated uh, to celebrate a little bit more. What's your first idea? Yeah. So for, for us? those people who need that date and need that mm. push and really want to set the or just this is your calendar and you want to set your goals. Yeah. The goal setting goals can be a little heavy. Yes. Especially if you got big ones, you know, relationship changes or job changes or yes. buying a house or first home or something like that. Yeah. Those are big and kind of heavy, can be stressful. Huge. So I really want people to, yes, do those. You got to go for the gold, like go, go, mm -hmm. go. But I also want you to set some fun ones and some more simple ones, yes. like whatever it may be. You know, I got out of bed and didn't hit snooze on my <laughs> alarm this morning goal. Like, Pat yourself on yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah, listen, whatever makes, because yeah. you want you want to keep the wins coming because it fuels you for the big ones. Totally, and we learned this in elementary school. Do the easy questions first that you know, and that's going to fuel your confidence, yes. and then you can do the hard things on the test. Yes, yes. And Treat life that way. Do the easy stuff first. Definitely, and with I love that. And so with yeah. all of those goals, let's celebrate. Let's find a way to string it out on whatever your time frame is, one year, six months, whatever your goal setting style is. Okay. And we're going to celebrate them when we accomplish them. So we've got our long our list of goals, whether it's long or short, three or thirty. That is you. This is a very personal thing. Yeah. Uh, don't put the pressure on. And what I'm going to suggest is go and buy as many little mini bottles of bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> for, because bubbles signify celebration for a lot of people. They do. Things like that. But if, if bubbles or wine or something like isn't your cup of tea, mm -hmm. go buy uh, specialty chocolate bars, like some gourmet, mm. luxurious chocolate bar. Or, mm. or maybe, maybe if books really fire you up, buy yeah. a book. One for every single goal that you have set. You're speaking my language with every single treat you just mentioned. <laughs> yeah. Your house is like, that made my them. eyes dance. And <laughs> yeah. then you're like, where my chocolate I could do? I was like, I could do books? Like, <laughs> no. these are all good. I must be inspired by you right now coming yes. up with those, because I do know those are your things. And you want to take a little tag, keep it simple. Just take a little tag, tie a little ribbon around it, and yes. write what the goal is that you have. Okay. And then when you accomplish that goal, like, what's this one? Apply, apply for, for a promotion. promotion. Yeah. And so once you've applied for it, 
Then Plus you celebrate it. Bubbles. Because applying for that job or that wow. promotion is hard, is as hard as yeah. getting it. Yeah. Bust them open. Or or eat the chocolate bar or whatever whatever reward whatever that reward is for you. It's very good. This will especially if you're the sort of person that is motivated yeah. by things like this, this is going to be great. Yeah, yeah, and keep yeah. the celebration going. Okay, what do you got for us next? Okay, the other one is we're gonna do an achievement jar. Okay. And so this one, instead of, instead of setting the list of goals, you're just going to recognize your daily, weekly, monthly achievements. Mm -hmm. And we're really gonna go small here, like that getting out of bed without pressing snooze. Yeah. Yep, that's one of them. Put it in the jar. It's one in the jar. You were mentioning earlier, maybe like call your aunt, uh, make I sure you call, call your aunt. I wanna call my aunties more. We all wanna talk to our family. Yes. But we just, life gets busy. Yeah. So when you do that, have a bunch of little cut up piece of paper ready mm -hmm. to go beside the jar, write it, fold it, and toss it in the jar. When you get it done. When you get it done. Yeah. Whenever you feel proud of yourself for doing that, and look for the small things as much as the big things. Absolutely. Then when the jar, as you see that jar filled, filled up, you're going to feel like good. you've achieved something, you're gonna feel good, you wanna keep it going. Yeah. And hopefully that jar's gonna fill so much you gotta fill it into a bigger thing. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna take this even one step further. If you're really motivated by this and you're feeling really good about it, you pull them out at the end of the year and read them. And look what you really, you know, think back to all the things you accomplished. Yeah. And consider putting all these little pieces of paper into a scrapbook oh. and year it. And then keep it going every year, you can add it. And I bet you, you're gonna see your goals and your achievements grow I like that. through the year. You'll start small and I bet you they become better. And it's almost like a memory book, really. Sometimes we just need a memory of the things that we have accomplished. Yes. You will not remember. I look back in my calendars all the time and yep. I'm like, whoa, 2017 was a year. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my gosh, how did I get that all done? And also, I don't want to do that again. But it was really <laughs> great. I got so much accomplished. But look at me. But I, I made like it through. To have a record, but I made it through. Yeah. And this is what I learned. Yeah. And these are the things that happened. So yeah. I think it's nice to do that. Yeah, I think it is too. And again, recognizing all the positive and the joy joyful things. Yes. Right? Okay, so you, I see like some cold hard cash yeah, over there. Yeah, cold hard cash here. That also makes my eyes dance. <laughs> what are we doing with that? Some people. I like money. If your motivation is money getting paid. Yeah. This one I'm calling the treat yourself jar. Treat yourself. And so every time from your list of goals, you yeah. accomplish one of those goals, you're going to put something into a jar. Okay. Whatever your budget allows. Five, a loony, a, a toonie, a loony, a quarter. $5, yep. $20, bless your heart if you've got lots of goals, you're gonna be rich at the end. Yes. I will encourage you if you're someone who's tempted to dip into it is to pick a jar with a small opening <laughs> because you're gonna see all that money in there or, or a box or something where you can't see the money so you're yes. not tempted. Yes. But then at the end of the year, again, year, six months, whatever your, whatever your time frame is for you, mm -hmm. You empty it and you do something amazing with that money. You may already know. It might be, I want that designer bag that yeah. I've been, had my eye on for years. Or right. I want to go to a fancy restaurant. Or if you're putting 20s in, you want to take a trip. Yeah. You know, and you take that money and do something with that money that really feels like you've been rewarded for totally. all you've done. And you earmark that the way you want to earmark that. Yeah, and you can you even know? take it a step further. Let's say I'm going to stick with the purse example because I like purses. Mm -hmm. um, you can even put a picture of it on the front of the jar or the oh, box. So it's nice. you've always got your eye on the prize. You need to stay focused on that. I love that idea. Yeah. That yeah. is so good. Great. Okay, so next up, I, I want to talk a little bit about vision boards because yes. we know that they're a big deal and they're a big thing. Do you do a vision board? I do vision board I firmly believe in them yeah I love them do you do a vision board I haven't been oh oh maybe this yeah, year you I want to give that been. a try so um but I do do visualization which okay. sounds very woo woo no 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 I'm here for it but I yeah. but I find that these things actually do help like if you're intentional about your thoughts yes. um Yes. But vision boards are great because you have that visual representation of all the things you want to do. Yeah. Now yours is a little different. Yes, I'm suggesting to people to do a reverse revision board. Okay. So a reverse vision board. A reverse sorry. vision board. If yeah. you don't know what your goals are, you're really foggy. We've all been yeah. there. I don't even know yet. Yeah. Or or they're they're a little on the vague side. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Just get yourself a board and keep it blank. And keep Just it blank. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it blank, do nothing, achieve it's nothing. It's been a great Life year. Everyone has years like that, life goes on. No, no, no. <laughs> but when you do achieve something, like let's say it's in the back of your mind you want to read more, okay? Yes. So when you yep. do do that, with every book you read, put a copy of the cover of the oh. book that you read on the vision board, right. on the reverse vision board. So yes. you're putting your visual representations of the accomplishments that you've done. Love it. Maybe you want to learn to cook. Yeah. And so you put a picture of the recipes that you um, have cooked. Nice. Maybe you want to take better, better care of your wellness so you're uh, on track with your supplements for Maybe two months straight. Maybe you want to do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's on your 
our list this year. Well, yeah, no, maybe. listen, yeah. Lisa, it is it is about wellness. Maybe you're looking for supplements. Looking, yes. Maybe you're looking for ways to, you know, a little, yeah. be a little less bit more Less tech time. You've achieved yes. a, a streak, a three-month streak of less tech time. Yeah. Add it, re redo your life so you can add a family member. Look at you, baby. Take care of your skin, your uh, skincare program, whatever yeah. your cup of tea is. And then at the end, you'll have this artwork of all your accomplishments, again, to reflect and look back on and be motivated for next year. This is beautiful because yeah. you've already done the thing and now you're just doing the check mark. Yep. Love that. Yep. Uh, last but not least, last really quickly, least, a playlist. Really quickly, for the musically minded people, yeah. when you've done, achieved something on your goal list, think of a song that's inspired by it. Like you wanted to go travel to France, pick a song that has the word Paris in it or something yeah. and create a playlist. Love and it. And song by song by song, you'll end up with a long playlist, hopefully long, uh -huh. that will be filled with memories and accomplishments that you can put on when you, if you need, to, need a little bit more motivation. I appreciate you starting us off on such a positive mm -hmm. note. Let's go to break. We have so much more coming up. Stay with us. Every place I go, Coming up, find out exactly what a blade in soup moment is. It was the most Not graceful blade in soup moment I've ever seen. It Outside, and you've seen that winter is in full effect. So lucky for us, that means soup season is also here. He's got a delicious recipe with his very own bowl of warmth, our very own bowl of warmth. Chef Matt Dean Pettit, that's what we call him. That is You're warm. I, that You're is the, one of the most. Thank you, yes. Trace. That was honestly one of the most nicest things anybody's ever called me. A little bowl of warmth. You're a little thank bowl you. of warmth. Honestly, I need like a city line business card that says that. That's great. We're gonna get on that for you. Please, thank yes, you very much. That is gonna be our Just job. Just write that down, right? It's a note. Yeah, somebody. Before we even get into the beautiful bowl of warmth that you're going to create for us, yes. I want to talk a little bit about where the idea came from because I'm so fascinated by we we deliver a lot of ideas totally. every day on this yep. show. Where did the idea for this one come from? It's a, it's a great question. So, you know, ideation, where does it come from? How does it happen? And especially from a food side, from a chef side, it can be crazy and fun and spontaneous, or it's completely thought out and you're, you know, you're going through time and time and time. This yeah. one is interesting. So uh, my hometown, Midland, Ontario, shout out, um, and a special near and dear place to our great producer, JC. JC yeah. and I love the town of Midland. We have a lot of fond memories there. Uh, there is a very small little craft brewery that just opened up, a new craft brewery. It is the talk of the town called Test Batches. Okay. And I was there over the holidays, and I was having an amazing little lunch with my mom. My mom was so excited for me to come and, you know, see Jamie Tripp and his family and, and just sit and have a great lunch. It was awesome. In a small town, new things when they come. It's great for the town. It's it a gets, big deal. You it support is, it. You it is a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. So you're sitting there having your good dinner, sitting but you're there, thinking about City Line. JC, <laughs> I am, because JC's like, hey, where are we with these what ideas? Making? What are we making? Yeah. And I'm sitting in front of an amazing, beautiful tomato soup. Uh-huh. And one of the best grilled cheeses I've had in a long time, a gourmet grilled cheese. Yes, sir. And I said, here we go. I took a picture. The phone eats first in my household. Yes. Uh, so we took a picture, sent it to JC. JC goes, let's put a spin on that and rock and roll. So, love it. There we are. Yeah, you see it. You fell in love with it. Well, she fell in love with it. She's like, so that's what you're doing on the show. JC Green lit it. And we've got this great spin on it because we're doing a tomato soup, but this is going to be a tomato soup that is um, a little bit more affordable. Yeah, a little right? bit more affordable. I always say, you know what, Let's as we get into it here, you know what, let's look in our pantry. Let's yeah. look what we have. It is tough times. Let's use what we have on hand. Yeah. A lot of us have. So in this case too, few different things that we can do. First, we're gonna go actually right into the blender. Yeah. So for you can either cook it first or you can go right in the blender. So for us, we're gonna go a little bit of melted butter. Yeah. So two tablespoons of melted butter. Where it comes to stuff that we may have in our, our pantry, is something like a can, large can of tomatoes, San Marzano, yeah. any kind of crushed yeah. tomato. When I see you doing that, I'm like, thank goodness I'm not the chef. Right? Guys, this, right? my shirt, my suit this would could go, go from everywhere. pink to red This could go everywhere. We're gonna do chicken stock Such in this case. Pro. Two cases of, two cases. Two, two cups of cups? Uh, two cups of chicken stock. Yeah. Honestly, if you don't have chicken stock, you can of course use something like a uh, vegetable or yep. you could even just use more water, depending on, again, let's be smart on, how much expensive ingredients we're putting in. 100%. Tomato paste, so eight ounces of tomato paste. Nice. We all have these sort of things kicking on our pantry, right, a lot of times. Yeah, just use them. Right, can you pass me a little bit of these spices, that little spice lineup? So we're gonna- I'm like, adding water, you're... just heads up on that. Good, and you basically test you... how much you wanna we use. We can always add, exactly, you saw what I did is. there. So onion powder, onion pardon powder. me, garlic powder, tablespoon. 
Onion powder. Onion. Thank you. We've all got the dried spices a in our pantry. Bit. You're you supposed know, to use them. Let's use them. They're not good They're not for a long time. They're not supposed to last for we 20 years. We went pepper. We went celery salt. If you don't yeah. have celery salt, you can do something such as um, a little combo of something like nutmeg or anything of these kind of little things that you want. Okay. For me, I have celery salt always because I love a Caesar. Yeah. I'm putting in some fresh basil just because I had it at the house. Again, you can use dry. We're using up what we have. I have a little windowsill and we grow basil. Heavy oh, that's cream. that's nice. Yeah. Heavy cream. We want it to be a creamy tomato soup. I'm going to hold yeah. a little bit back mm -hmm. just because we're going to garnish with a little bit. And that is it. So let's get this rocking. Let's pop it down. Make sure the lid is Make on. sure the lid. And the reason why we're doing this, though, I like what you're doing. Look at this. That thing's just flying away. See, look at this pulse action here. We're absolutely rocking. That's all we want. And away we go. So. It almost looks like a rosé. It does look like a rosé. Beautiful. Right? So as we do this, again, we blend it first. It's super easy. I show people all the time. That was really easy. It is. And we get intimidated by times with soups, right? Yeah. So I like a little bit of texture. Well, we're getting everybody in the pool it's there. It's extra protein. It's extra protein. Mm. Wow, there we go. Uh, that just shot delish. out. See, this is the thing with real TV, what we're doing here. Well, the kitchen. other thing you said when we were talking earlier is you didn't really want to go in there and blend the hot. You can do it. You're you comfortable can. with it. You can. But there are a lot of people at home that would rather blend the cold and then warm it up. I and would. that works perfectly fine. Especially if you're in the kitchen. You don't know what's happening. You have, like, kids around. Yeah. You have stuff going on. This can be a little tricky. Totally. You never know when the blender, you know, actually blade might fall in. Right. <laughs> and did you see that chef hand just come out and pick that up? Non. It was the most non graceful blade in soup moment I've ever seen. In, in 2024 in TV In 2024 least. in TV. It was so the best I've ever seen. I've got everything rocking here. We're going to now cook that down for about, say, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. You got it. So we're going to have that. Again, we can add more uh, water if you wanted. You could add more cream. And in this case, we're just going to let that cook down. The flavors are going to bind. And nice. we're just going to have that richness. You can add... Any more, again, if you want a little more salt, if you want a little more pepper, yep. you know, you just sort of keep going. I love something that has a little bit of crunch. So we are going to be making an amazing, as we mentioned, grilled cheese. Yeah. So if you see, the secret to that is the cheeses, but also focaccia. Well, it's focaccia, focaccia bread. and I, I will mention, I'm very excited for the grilled cheese, which we're going to do a bit later. Good, we have a minute left because I need to talk about these croutons. You do. Like, and that's you're why. topping this with a little bit of crunch and flavor as well. That's what I want. So we've got these as the mentioned croutons. So we said we're going to keep just oh, a so little. So that's how you're doing A little it. bit of the heavy cream. Very we're nice. We're topping it with just the croutons that we've used in our grilled cheese. Kept some back. We've yeah. toasted them. Oh, and nice. And we've just got a little bit of beautiful little crunch. Again, you've got that creaminess. You've got that richness. You've got yeah. that acidity. You've got the crouton. You wait, go for the Parmesan wait. while Parmesan I talk shower. to the audience about how I've been very anti-soup up until very you recently. Are. You are anti-soup. But, but did you I see found how easy out that, that was? this was, number one, going to be having grilled cheese on the side. And also that you were going to have these beautiful croutons. And I was like, I'm going in. Easy. Affordable, rich, Absolutely simple. Absolutely. Kids delicious. can help you. Yay! You want to try the recipe? Go to cityline.tv. As we mentioned, Maddie's back with the perfect match a grilled cheese grilled with cheese. lots of cheese. Let's head to break. Thank More you. Cityline coming up. Very good show. Coming up, winter snacks that give you a boost. Uh, uh, this one I won't eat. I won't eat on air. Right. <laughs> It'll make right. You pop a little bit. A little these bit. Of, right. A little bit of nose running mm, situation bit, yeah, there. Yeah. Look at the beauty of that chocolate. If you're a fan of the cold, you are outside enjoying all the winter activities. But to keep your energy up, you need snacks. With easy ways to make your own snack boxes is Sarah Juman. Yasin! How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am great because you brought the cutest snacks. You actually call them snackettes. Yes. Okay, so this is just like a little something something. So when you go out and you go to places, skiing, snowboarding, etc., they're mm -hmm. snackettes. They're but they don't have the healthiest options. They don't cater to all dietary right. needs. And they're a bit pricey. Yes. So I want to show you snacks that you can pack on your own. So you create your own little snackette. I like this. Bring it from home. So yes. you say smashability is a thing. It is a thing. What is smashability? So there's winter. <laughs> What's going on? There's winter. There's ice. There's my clutziness. Yeah. You have to know what you're packing if you're going to fall on ice. Okay. So no glass. 
No right. soft foods that can smash. Yeah. And you want to make sure the foods that you're packing are high nutrients, have a lot of energy just to last you throughout the day. Okay. So we're going to take a quiz here on fruits for oh. smashability. Okay. Okay, so Tracy. Yes. Would you pack grapes? High I nutrients. would. Would you pack grapes? Yeah. I would pack grapes. I would pack grapes. Okay, in a container. Yeah, somebody says. In a says. container. In a container. Okay, but what about blueberries and strawberries? Would you pack those? You wouldn't do blueberries? In a hard container. In a hard container? I would do the blueberries. I wouldn't do the strawberries, to be honest with you. I, feel I like agree with you. Yeah. Because strawberries get bruised easily yes. and in cold. They're very fragile. Yes, they are. Okay, bananas. Good. I don't think I'm doing bananas. And they're not either. We're not yeah. doing bananas. And bananas bruise really easily in the cold either. So we're right. Is yes, what you you're are saying. right. Okay, good. What about apples and pears? Absolutely. They're hard. Oh, you're good. And yeah. then what about dates? Yes. Ooh, perfect. Yes. Excellent. We Excellent. know our fruit. Yes, you do. We passed all of them, yes. right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, good. 100%. Now, what else are we going to add to our little uh, snack box? Okay, so the perfect thing is granola, granola bars. Mm -hmm. So they pack a big punch in a small pack. Yes. And you can easily stick them in a pocket, a coat pocket, very, very easy, and they come in a lot of different flavors. Mm -hmm. The second thing is trail mix. You I can buy these in a lot of flavors. Here we have a tropical mix. Here we have fruits and nuts. Yeah. But you can also make your own. Totally. Combination of nuts, cereals, put it all together. You can put chocolate chips in there. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. I know we're trying to be like all healthy, but these are great um, because they do come in so many different varieties, but it's all about the portability, right? Yes. You want things you can walk with. So we've done uh, we've done some trail mix, some granola. Let's talk cheese and other things that you so can you know add to it. So you know I couldn't come without talking about cheese. You have to bring cheese. <laughs> I have to bring it's cheese. It's literally in her contract. <laughs> you come cheese. to City Line, you bring cheese Says with you, Sarah. Must bring cheese. Okay. <laughs> so cheese is great because yeah. you get calcium, you get protein, all in a little single serve here. Yes. And these are great. You can stick it again in a pocket, yep. in a zipper, and it's cold outside. So these will be safe to eat all day. This stuff is like all, you're talking hockey tournament uh, <laughs> snacks to me. Like, yeah, this easy. is the stuff we bring. Yeah, really you're in easy. the cold arena, you're going from one ring to another, you need things like this. I want to talk about these things, though. Okay, so this is about turning up the heat. So you can bring oh. the heat from the inside out. Yes. Okay, so this you're going to love. Is it tamarind balls? Yes, this is a spicy tamarind ball. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so good. This is a spicy beef jerky. Mm. This is a wasabi-inspired pea. Yes. And I don't know if it's too early for Valentine's Day, but this Never. is cinnamon hearts. So oh, you're bringing that nice. spice from within. And then if you're thinking about drinks, think about a spiced hot chocolate, yes. adding some cinnamon to your coffee, mm. just a little bit of spice. You want a little bit of heat. How are you with the wasabi uh, uh, This piece? one, I won't, eat, I won't eat on air. Right. <laughs> It'll make right? me cough a little bit. A little, bit of, a little bit of nose running mm, situation a bit, yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. They, they, they got a little bit of kick. Okay, so now we want a little bit of a treat. And yeah, then we want a little bit of in. treat. We want a little bit of indulgence. If you're feeling a little oh tired, God. you want a little bit of pick-me-up. So we have stuffed dates. So you can either do it in nice. coconut butter, peanut butter, or even tahini. These are so simple to make. You cut the dates in half, you take yeah. out the pit, and then you just put the peanut butter. Yeah. And then you can put it in a little container. The great thing is that when you're cold outside, the peanut butter won't be sticky. It'll be a great temperature to eat it. Perfect. Yes. What's the little red stuff on top? I, well, you know I'm fancy, so I put yeah. a little bit of edible uh, rose petal leaves. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> Look at that. You do pretty food. Okay, and then you've got some chocolate. Some so, chocolates. Some chocolates. chocolates. Some chocolates. So we're doing uh, peanut butter cups. Yep. Because those are an instant hit of energy, and they're really, really good outside when it's cold. Yeah. Uh, if you're nut-free or vegan, we have uh, vegan chocolate with uh, coconut. Oh, that's nice. So there's options for everybody. I'm very excited to see how you're carrying this all around. How are we packing it up? Okay, so gone are days of Ziploc bags. Yeah, we're not all it. about reusable, so they come in different sizes so yeah. pick yourself up some reusable bags yeah and these can go in this is small enough to stick in my coat pocket and you yeah. can put them in a hockey bag very very easy beautiful if you're going out for a day with the family and you want to do snacks these are lovely I containers like that you can get one. now yeah. they can come out isn't that cool and then the lid also closes and it has a handle that you can carry it with so 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 easy that's cool okay that's and now cute. it's pretty because I like to repurpose things at home yeah. and just reuse it. So I have a tool storage bin here. Yep. This is meant for nails, it's meant for um, screws. Yep. And this is so cool because this is actually meant to keep things in place. And it also has compartments oh. that you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, however you want. I love that. 
Yours happens to be like pristine, super duper clean. Because I, if I look at my toolbox at home, there yeah. ain't no food going in there. <laughs> so I've packed mine already for today. <gasps> so you can see that it's already packed. Okay. So inside we have a combination of uh, candies, nuts, cheeses, dates, etc., and then of course plantain chips because that's. I me. want you to be my mom. <laughs> Okay, that so, is a great little snack at box. Okay, so what are we doing with this guy? This guy is just for show, but we're moving oh, okay. on to the toolbox. Mm -hmm. So, if you're fancy and crafty like me, can I open it? Yeah, you pack a picnic in a toolbox, and let me show you why it's cool. It has three different layers. So how can you cool see is all of that? How cool is that? I just want to show them the bottom layer. Yeah. You've got drinks, you have full sandwiches and well, granola bars in there. Yeah, and I have uh, cloth napkins on Ooh, the middle so layer. Nice. We have cheeses, we have crackers, we have fruits. Mm -hmm. And on the top layer, you know, I'm bringing some fudge, some cheese straws, some candies. These. Yeah. So it's a whole picnic in a box. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about this is you can carry it around with you. It doesn't smash so easy. Also, you look like hardcore, like, I'm fixing things and feeding children. Oh, yeah. Eating in a corner, nobody will know. No one will know, Sarah, thank <laughs> you. Let's go to break, more coming up. I love this. Oh. Coming up, what is Huga? It's really bringing your people close, usually bringing your people inside, and really being intentional about all things cozy. How does this sound? Relaxing in a warm atmosphere and enjoying the good things in life with good people. Perfection, right? This is called Huga, and Shona is back to show you exactly how to embrace all the coziness. Shona's, I feel like this is my mantra. This is how I live at home. Yeah. Do you live like this at home? Oh, yeah, I sure You're do. You're a Huga girl. I'm a, I'm a Huga girl. Yeah. But I mean, I'm a Jensen, and Huga is a Danish. A uh, way of life. It is yes. a lifestyle. But yeah. even before I became a Jensen, I was very Huga friendly. Yeah. Let's say. Um, so I was mentioning to the audience Huga, and they were like, "What is that?" Oh, okay. So let's talk about what that is. Let's. Canada is very much on the cusp of living that kind of Huga lifestyle. A lot of us, yeah. much like uh, Denmark, the Danish people have like a long winter, as so do we. Oh, and so yeah. it's literally. Things that we're doing now, but it's literally a lifestyle. Like the word huga is even fairly new. It's just mm -hmm. the way the Danish people live, right. particularly in the winter months. And so it's it's really bringing your people close, usually bringing your people inside, and really being intentional about all things cozy. I'm probably yes. going to use the word cozy a hundred times in this segment. We're okay with it, it because it really like embodies what we're trying. To, to, do. to do, but there's kind of key elements to achieve it. And again, a lot of us are probably doing these things at the, you know, in the winter season anyway, yeah. but we're gonna be extremely intentional about them. I love that. Get, let's, yeah. let's look forward to it. Yes. So a lot of people look forward to winter because they're like skiing, snowboarding, but let's be inside yeah. and be intentional. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And be intentional about how we're doing it. Yeah. So let's start with the atmosphere, so warm you're really, atmosphere. A really important part of this is actually candlelight. Ooh. And yes, we've got all sorts of lighting around our house in modern day. We've got lamps and dimmers and, and this mm. that, and the other thing. But specifically, we want real, real candles, yeah. natural candles. Okay. You get an ambiance from a real candle that is cozy and warm mm -hmm. and familiar and some people draw energy from the flame yes. itself. They're feeling that. Yeah. So you it's important to do the real candle, whether it be a tapered candle or whether it be, you know, ones that are more in cloches or in, in containers. Mm -hmm. They all work, but it's not just, you know, uh, not a scented candle. We're in this scenario avoiding scented candles because we want that natural vibe, cozy vibe. Got it. But it's like you're gonna start working making dinner. I'm going to actually do this yeah. in the winter times. I'm gonna light two candles yeah. and they're going to burn on my kitchen island while I make dinner. Yes, Love I have it. other lighting in my house. It doesn't mean everything has to be dark. Yeah. But you're getting that intentionally warmth energy mood. from the flame. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Love that. Okay, yeah. anything yeah. else for atmosphere? Yes, and with atmosphere, I'm gonna put in the warm beverages. Mm. So this isn't 
you know, get up as a flash, chug your coffee back, get that caffeine <laughs> boost. We're again, we're going to be intentional about it. We're going to yeah. pick the mug we love the best. Yes. We're going to put that delicious aromatic tea or coffee or whatever warm hot chocolate, whatever warm beverage you like. Yeah. And when you sip it, you're going to savor it. It's this is really all about enjoying all the small little steps in your day and your life. We all yeah. know this is a thing, but we're, we have to, here on this side of the world, we have to be told this. They're, they just do it. Right. You know? And so this is what we're trying to bring into mm -hmm. us. It's almost like romanticizing those small moments. It is. And make and, and as you said, making it intentional, making it comfy and cozy. Yeah. What else do we need to make our space comfy cozy? The other thing would be fireside. And this is going to be the oh, one. Oh, yeah, baby. This is going to be the one thing that I'm going to allow technology. Okay. So if you have a fireplace. Yeah. I mean, this is a way of life. So you play, turn the fireplace on, stoke the fire, put the log on, whatever kind of fireplace you have. Yeah. That's the, the ideal. I have, was a lifelong condo dweller. So yes. I understand not, you don't always have a fireplace, but there's an amazing fireplace channels and things yes. you can put on your TV or your phone. Yeah. And they really do, I find they really do give you that vibe of the fire they have crackling sounds and if, things like that yeah if people remember city tv a pioneer and putting on the fireplace yeah. channel yeah it was a so you put channel. it on your tv and there's yeah. something about getting lost in the flames <laughs> yes and it's just you're looking at them but it does something to you it it's really almost does. like watching water yeah. so it's worth it but you see how there's a there's a thing here we're dealing with a lot of natural tactile things yes so we're going to go to that next we're, when it comes to our clothing, right. we're going to embrace the loungewear. We're in our house. We're comfy. We're cozy. We're, right. So we're going to put on those big, big cozy sweaters, the knits that we the may have. The knits, yeah. We're always, in everything, we're going to try to choose natural fibers mm -hmm. over um, artificial fibers. So you're going for your wools and your cashmeres and your things like that. Yes. If you have that choice, or at least blends, they are different. And again, this is that tactile feeling mm -hmm. that we're really going after. Same with all the textures around your house. You want to cozy up in with a blanket. Lots Choose of blankies. a wool blanket if you can. Yes. There is such a difference between you know being wrapped in a wool blanket versus a, like a polyester type blanket. Right. It, listen, it can still be warm too. And if that's what you have, I'm not saying go out and buy all this stuff. Right. If that's what you have, you use it. But mm -hmm. if you're making choices, choose the natural fibers for your pillows and your things like yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Because it's what we want on us, but yeah. it's also what we want in us. So we're also going to go into comfort food. Let's talk about Let's it. Let's talk about food. Well, you saw we made a beautiful soup with oh. uh, Maddie, and we're going to go back and we're going to make some grilled cheese. Like, this is what we're talking about in this so space. So good, yeah. Right? Yeah, this is evoking warmth. It's memories. A lot of us had those type of foods yes. in our childhood. Yes. We're pulling in stews, stews, things mm -hmm. like that. And another one of the elements is also spending a lot of time with your people. Oh, I love that. Pull your people in close. Yes. Pull, bring your friends over, bring your family over, go to their house, whatever. Yeah. Put this perfectionism out the window. Get rid of it. It's not what it's about. Yeah. If you want to cook a cozy dinner, cook it with them. Yeah. It's fine. It doesn't have to be pre-planned and all that. It can Here, be messy. Chop an oven. You chop the onion and you, yeah. you know, you, whatever, you cook this. It can be casual and it creates a whole type of community feeling mm -hmm. that you aren't getting otherwise. Playing board games. Well, let's have a seat. All right. Um, I know we're almost at the end of yeah. the segment, but like, let's get Here, a little comfy. Like oh, thank you. Yeah. But the, the whole point of this is quality time. Yeah. It's quality time. It might be quality time by yourself. Like you said something interesting. Mm. So what I do in my living room, it's like shag rug, tons of blankets, fireplace, candles, the whole nine. You got I it. live the hookah life. Yeah. I just sit there wrapped up in a blanket like a burrito, yes. patting my dog yeah. and doing nothing. I'm not listening to AirPods. No. I'm not reading a book. I have no, I don't have anything in front of me. I'm just looking. And there's something so beautiful oh, about it. that that moment of solitude just by yourself living in your space and existing. Yeah. I think your, our brains need to do that. And this is part of the hookah. If yeah. being on your own gives you that warmth and comfort, whether it's your what you do, just sitting in silence and quiet, whether it's formal meditation yeah. and you want to meditate quietly with your dog, that's a good thing to do too. Restore yeah. yourself. You know when you go on vacation because you've sat by the pool a while and you come back and you're like, oh, I want to do this or I have this idea or I have something like that. It's because you've done that. You've sat still. Right. So let's do that during the hibernation months, the mm. winter months, the quiet calm months. Beautiful. I love that you do that. And I play games it. with your friends. Mm -hmm. Let's go to break. This is so beautiful. We'll be back with Chef Maddie when we come back. Stay with us. It's just Coming up, a grilled cheese sandwich that's a little extra. There and away we go. So yeah, we can go a little more. Super cheese. Let's oh, go. Oh, yes, I will, Chef.
Yes, I will clap for cheese any day of the week. We're back in the kitchen. We're going to make a super pair to our creamy tomato soup. So we talked about this a little bit earlier. You know, we came for the soup. We are staying for the grilled cheese sandwich, MDP, which is what you're going to do right now. Absolutely. This is a special grilled cheese. This is Maddie's grilled cheese. It's not like two white pieces of bread slapped with two orange slices That's of right. cheese. That's right. That's right. It's a little bit more, which is which, also good. Which it can be. <laughs> it right? can it be. Can be. Yeah. It can be good. You can go high fluting or you can go straight up basic and either yeah. or is fine you know again I'd like to sort of see what we have in the kitchen see what we have in our pantry our fridges right. and put things together as I was saying this was inspired by uh, a little place in town in my hometown doing a great grilled cheese focaccia what's your take on focaccia is the bread the bread's important in a grilled cheese the bread is huge and I'm a bread girl okay. so focaccia I'm always about like it it's just it's a complete party in a bread you got herbs you got a ton of butter and oil in there right it's thick it is thick I like a thicker bread Me too. like it's perfect you just explained it you know you've got flavor you've got oil you've got fat you've got riches you have herbs mm. you've got you know again when you press something sometimes you might lose it you you know you when you, yeah. you still want a little bit of that breadiness Totally. And I love, I love focaccia. I think it makes like a very super elevated cheese. Let's talk about cheese because I know you love cheese. I love cheese. So yeah. you are going for what? We, we've got a gamut here. Yeah. We've got the gamut again. You can do like the classic American cheddar. Yep. Times are tough. We always talk about it. Use what you have. Yeah. If you do want to go a little more, you know, elevated, bring you it to the next fancy level. Fancy Little fancy fans, right? Free. I didn't wear a collared shirt for nothing in the kitchen here today. <laughs> this is my like finest like 2024 outfit here. It's very right? fine. Living. It's very fine. Yes, sir. So he put on the collared shirt collared and he brought shirt. brie. And I brought brie. I brought double cream brie. Double cream brie. Not single brie. cream. Come on. That's Who's right. bringing it? If I show up with single cream, you're going to be like, Matt, get out of here. Why do you uh, love the brie? I do love brie because it's got, obviously, it melts really well. It's melty. It's gooey. It's Meltability. creamy. Meltability. Meltability. Mm -hmm. uh, we need shirts with that, maybe. Meltability. Right? I think Sarah might want a shirt with that. That meltability. <laughs> she was talking about cheese. That's right. So we have brie. And again, second cheese. You could go brie straight up. You're perfect. Yeah. But I do do a second cheese. I like to add a little something. Do you know what this is? No. Are you, a fan of, are you a fan of fondue? I'm a fan of all cheeses. Yes, you are. And fondue. I am a fan of fondue and so, raclette. Raclette. So you've got here, you have Emmental cheese. It's Emmental. So Emmental. Very Emmental, nice. you know, beautiful Swiss cheese, um, ton of character, ton of body, ton of, again, gives it more of like a nuttiness flavor. Great little pull on that, too. You're, Which you're is getting what some we're great pull, for. right? So you've got a brie that's going to be a little bit more mild and yep. more calm. You've got an emmethal that's going to give you a little bit more flavor. It's, gonna, yep. it's going to give you a little bit, little something, something. You want a little bit of something, something. So when we do this, we've got our hot pan going. We've got our, we cut it down. We've got two slices. It's going to make two sandwiches. Okay. So a couple little things, real quick, too. Yeah. A little bit of butter, again, goes a long way, right? Uh -huh. So we're just going to drizzle that all over. A little melted butter, that's two tablespoons. We're just adding flavor. Nice. And again, we talked about the creaminess, the richness here. I want to have some acidity. So I'm going to go with some Dijon mustard. Is this on the inside of the grilled cheese I'm or the outside? The, I'm doing it on the inside. Okay, just check. Yeah. And no, no, no. It's a great question. So we're doing it on the inside. We put the butter on the inside. So you're just doing the one side. Okay. And again, I'm going very liberal because I love mustard. Me too. You know, you could also a do a little grainy Dijon. A little grainy or any, yeah, you could use anything, right? But I do like a little grainy Dijon. You nice. could put, you know, any kind of aioli you like. I yeah. like just... You want some life in the middle of that sandwich. Okay. So we're just going to top this up. And we've got our brie, as we talked about. So very we're just nice. going to cut this down, the double cream brie. It's, yeah, very generous serving. Very. Of brie. So do you ever think to yourself, ooh, is this going to melt? So good question. A couple things you might want to do. Yeah. We've got a big pan, a sort of a, a deep, you know, deep shallow uh, pan here. Mm -hmm. If you notice, we're going to cover it. So we're going to get it a good little sear on both sides. Yeah. Flip it once, flip it twice, sort of like a steak. Nice. And then from that point, you just want to have, uh, we want to cover it. So do you want to help me here? Do you want yeah, to top up it. this one? I'm going to crank up our, uh, our top here and away we go. So yeah, we can go a little more. Super cheesy. Let's oh, go. Oh, yes, I will, chef. Now you got you've it. got the cream. Thank you very much. Here thank was you for, me thank trying to save a buck in the right? kitchen. Right, saving a buck. I actually more. appreciate it. You're hired at Trinity Market right? any I'm day of the trying week. trying to help you out. That is portion control 101 in the restaurant game. That is huge. So just thank like, you. Ease back a little bit. What, I see what, we, what's happening That's here? a little one too. That's my fave right here. So we've got the creaminess. You've got that richness. You have the acidity. But yeah. we, need some, we need some saltiness. That's a little, a uh, little prosciutto. prosciutto. And again, we can load this up. So I love a little bit of fat on there. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, we're, it's 2024. Let's get right into it. Fat and salt. Fat, salt, right? rich, cream, and away we go. So all we're going to do 
is we're going to cover that up. And again, you're you putting the oil side out. I am oil or side the out. Butter side out. Butter side out. And I'm glad you said that. Yeah. A little piece to resist. So it's a little secret of a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. Is a little bit of mayo. I want on to the know. Outside. Do a lot of you do mayo? I've never tried mayo on the, the mayo. outside. Okay, so apparently the mayo is... Um, is it a thing? Is it a known thing? Well, I want to know why you would go there. Like, okay. is it gonna, it's not going to burn? It's, it, you know what? So you got to watch, obviously, your temperature, but you, okay. it's going to give you that crispness that okay. you're looking for. All so right. at the end of the day, you want to have that, like, little bit of crispness. You are like, going to town with the mayo. Go to town. I this love it. Mayo town right here. Here we go. Okay, let's so do a let's little make sizzle, sure. sizzle. Yeah, we'll do a little sizzle, sizzle. 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 So again, we can go, you know, we'll go this way down. Yeah. I'll come back to that in a second for the opposite side. Okay. We're going to do a little one, two. I'm going to hit it with a second little bit of mayo. On top. Obviously on top. Right? Wow. It's, and this is full fat mayo. Let's okay. not play games. Let's not play Let's games. not play games with each other, Tracy let's, Moore. Let's get real. We are doing full fat mayo in my yeah. household. So we're just going to get a good little sear here. We're going to cover that. We can come back to it. See, I haven't tried covering my grilled cheese, and that makes a lot of sense if you want these bigger slices of cheese to actually melt. Totally. Do you do the smush? So you like can do... Like with the spatula? I would. In this case, if we're going to go, I'd put a little... I'd give it... You want to give it a second. Yeah. Because you want to get yeah, that crust sure, on one sure. side. I'd say about a minute and a half. Yeah. Then you could even press it a lot of times with a smush. Yeah. Or you get the kids to help, right? The old yeah. one, too. You can also put, a lot of people put as a secondary potter pan just on top, oh, right? It so put it, you just want to create that even, but it's, it should be even. Yes. And again, really be mindful of your temperature as we get into it here. Yeah. Look at this. Like, okay, so maybe I should have done this. that again, but there was like a woo. Ooh, the pull. So the pull. And I know you are. This is beautiful. Let me ask this question. I yeah. know you're, you, you know, we've converted you into a new soup fan. I'm a dipper. Are you a dipper? Does anyone else do a dip? Oh, bless your souls. I knew I liked you all. I do not dip at all. Mm -mm. You might want to be careful. You got to do this sort of stick out a bit because this might. Mm. All right. Almost. Mm. The secret ingredient might be that Dijon in there. It's the Dijon. It's like that beautiful little. How little much snap. time do I have to keep eating on air? Right? I have 20 seconds. That might be the best thing we've ever said. Am How I much allowed time? to double dip if I'm the only one eating the soup? Yes, that is your soup. Double dip they away. Said I could. I'll go to break now and then I'm going to eat it. Cityline.tv for the recipe. Wow. Right? Wow. It is so good. Let's go to break. We'll come back. You. Yes, you. I've got a seat in CityLine's audience waiting just for you. Head to CityLine.tv slash tickets to go behind the scenes with your favorite experts, the chance at great giveaways, plus all the unexpected fun of bringing CityLine to your screens. What are you waiting for? Go click. We can't wait to see you. Ready to unleash a brand new you? Wow, you're like a million bucks. <laughs> CityLine's Glam Squad wants to give you the makeover of your dreams. Head to CityLine.tv and click on the makeover tab or just scan the code on your screen. Oh my goodness! Your new look is only a click away. great time uh, with the lovely experts in the audience today. Thank you so much for coming, audience. It's so, so lovely and cheerful. A big thank you to our audience, Shona, Maddie, Sarah. Incredible content all the time. And plus, it's just nice to show up to work and hang out with people who are so lovely. So thank you so much for that. Uh, and all the people you don't see behind the cameras, uh, they are doing incredible work. Stay tuned for another episode of City Line tomorrow, everyone. Mwah! Take care of yourselves. See you